DFG1924 is a Italian brand that's been resurrected recently. Uh, I've got Rob, Roberto Dario here and he's going to explain the brand to us and you're also going to have a chance at winning various prizes, so please stay tuned. Thanks so much for tuning in. This is Sebastian with Smelling Great Fragrance Reviews. If this is your first time on this channel, please click the subscribe button below and click the bell icon so you'll be notified for future videos and giveaways. And that's right, I've got Roberto Dario here from DFG1924. Can you tell us a little bit about this brand? It's a recently resurrected brand, is that yes. correct? Yes. Uh, this uh, brand is, uh, uh, goes back uh, three years ago. It is, uh, was a lucky encounter between me and the owners of of the, of the of the brand, and so we decided to make uh, new perfumes for the for the market. So we start, as I said, three years ago. Uh, our um, our brand is made by three different lines. The first line that is uh, called Spezzeri Officinale has this uh, this packaging, this and it's made right here. Yes, it's it, it's we are on the same uh, on the same color, and. Uh, uh, it's made of five uh, five different uh, uh, fragrances. I will talk about the most representative of this fragrance of this line. That it's Noor. Noor means uh, the first light of the first light in the desert. Okay, the first light the light of the sun in the desert. And it's an amber oriental uh, fragrance, and uh, it's very ambery. It's very vanilla. It's very, it's a uh, very easy wearing for everybody, male and female. Can I smell? Oh sure. Lovely. And you have four others in this collection? Yes, there are four others in, in collection. We have, they are very easy wearings. As I said, we can go from, for example, uh, Aroma Fruttato, it's uh, fruity. Uh, you, you can imagine this basket of fruit under the shade in a very heat day of summer wow. and uh, you can smell uh, fig, you can smell coconut, you can smell uh, even peach. Plus we can have, uh, we have uh, uh, La Fontana di Titi, Fontana di Titi, uh, Titi was a young girlfriend of the owner of the brand. She, they used to play each other when they were young around this fountain. La Fontana is the fountain of a garden. And it's a um, uh, flower, vanillic flower for a young, young, young woman. Plus, from going from young people, from young girls, we can have an elegant woman with Aroma Vivienne. It's a super floral perfume. And uh, here again, embers and uh, a very nice floral orchid. Again, we have Narciso, that is, uh, uh, I intended this perfume for the narcissistic man, <laughs> and is uh, based between uh, a gourmet note and a spicy note that fight each other, like a narcissistic man is. Last one is La no, the last one is the Noor that we said before. Yeah. So after this, that it's very, you know, it's very um, classic, very classic line. There is my interpretation of freshness, and this interpretation of freshness is what I made with Acque Odorose line. That it's mean in English is scented waters. It's eau de, to eau de toilette concentration. And uh, does this one uh, come? What kind of a packaging does this come in this, box? This packaging is. Uh, comes with this box. Okay. It's very, uh, very fresh and easily easy easy packaging because the most important thing is the juice. Uh, here is, a, for example, I will explain La Sorgente di Ninfe. It is the uh, lotus flower source. It's a kind of freshness that I come um, that I pick it up putting together the freshness of a sparkling mountain water and the lotus flower. Lotus flower is a little bit of an acidic scent and together makes a very nice scent of a fresh cup of tea. Sounds lovely. 
You want to smell it? Yeah. Fresh. And then we have a third lot. You have other fragrances in this line. Yeah, another other fragrance, very quick. We have uh, the Awakening of the Asperities, that is dedicated to the mythology of the Asperities. They were the guardian of the garden where the apple tree grows. So the mythology of the Asperities comes out. And it's very citrus, very strong, very refreshing. And at the end, on the skin, comes out a very nice flower. The other one that it's more and more interesting Yellow is, patchouli, right? Yes, it's the Mercante di Sogni, that means the merchant of dreams. And his work around patchouli I have the three different kinds of patchouli inside. And they are surrounded by musks and amber accords. But it's a fresh patchouli. This is a fresh patchouli and for me is the nice scent of the warm sand of the desert in the evening. I like this one. And then you have a third line. Third line, and our more and it is it is our precious line. It's dedicated to the land where the uh, DFG 1924 was born three years ago, and is Asolo, which is a nice city in the hills of Treviso. Treviso is a, is a city that's near Venice, just to keep you where we are. The first that I show you is named the Cento Horizonti of this line. Cento Horizonti is an Amber is an amber, is an amber perfume, uh, and it's imported with aromatic herbs because for me is a nice journey in the hills around Asolo, where the aromatic herbal part it's uh, it's uh, gives you the uh, licorice part as an aristocratic. Uh, Nesoraki part. Did you say licorice? Licorice. Can you spray some here? Please? Okay. I like licorice. <laughs> and it's masculine for me, but I have a lot of females that love this train. That's lovely. Last one is named Il Giardino di Freya, that's Freya's garden, that is dedicated to Freya Stark. Freya Stark is one of the most important citizens of uh, Asolo. Uh, Freya Stark was the first English noblewoman to visit and explore the Middle East, and she has a home, a home in Asolo. Uh, this fragrance is dedicated to the garden, of this house, and I capture the freshness of the dew coming from the valley that matches the encounter, the grass and uh, the flowers of this garden. It's a very nice white and green flower, place it on green mosses. Lovely. This is the, desk, the quick description of all the perfumes that DFG 1924 have in this line. And I'll be glad to uh, give uh, a do a giveaway. A, a do a giveaway to all of you. The first one is a winner of a complete bottle of anything uh, they like. The, there are three travel sets waiting for you, of, and you can put three uh, complete 10 ml ta um, test uh, testers. Both, yeah, if you, uh, of your choices, and then I will I will give three complete sets of all our fragrances. So how many prizes is it? Six? Is uh, seven. Seven prizes. Seven prizes worldwide. Worldwide giveaway. That's awesome. Yeah. We did this in the group several yes. months ago. Of course, yes. And then now we're doing it on the video yes. channel. So if you haven't joined the group yet, do join so you can participate in giveaways there as well. And uh, thank you so much for doing this video thank and you, going Sebastian. over your entire line. Yes. It was good to so. see you here at Pity. Yes. It's glad to see you here Sebastian and glad to see all of you guys all out there and hope the, the best for the winners of this giveaway. Thank you. Guys if you want to participate in the giveaway please make sure to put down a comment and uh, let me know which fragrance that uh, Roberto mentioned sounds best to you. Also please put down your country and make sure I can see your subscriptions otherwise you won't qualify. Thanks so much for watching. Please like this video. Please share it. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. I'll be back with more videos very soon. Have a good one. Goodbye. Bye-bye.